Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. And in this quick review, I'm going to be looking at what's in the box here and fitting it to my Himalayan over here. Here's the clamp mount in the box with an Allen key you can see behind it. What you can't see is another tool which you'll see at the end of the video. And here's the original. It's a Kaiser Bass fitted to my Himalayan on one of the tank guards and the new spotlight is uh, getting in the way of the camera or vice versa so it needs changing. So we'll pop off the Kaiser Bass clamp and you'll see that I've had to use some rubber there. Reason being the Kaiser Bass has got quite a large hole in the middle that uh, it can clamp onto various sizes and you'll see the HSU one is quite a lot smaller. So uh, hopefully you won't need any rubber pieces. Um, put the clamp on, yes we still do. So one rubber pad is put back on and the clamp tightened. Now the good thing about this clamp is it's positionable. You can actually turn it 360 degrees on a, an indexing system. So we'll just move it around so I can do the other Allen bolt up and put the extension on and the camera. Now we'll get it positioned and these sometimes do need a bit of a clamping up with a uh, tool just to increase the torque and the biting force on them. And these go over the metal uh, screws. Don't ever use this on a plastic screw because you'll probably snap it. There we are, nice and firm. And here's the tool. Fits over the HSU bolt or yeah. screw quite nicely. And here we are, all in place. One last thing to do, make sure nothing's going to hit on full lock either way. Another point about the HSU mounting system is that the linking pieces, unlike the GoPros here, which you're probably familiar with, are the same orientation for the hole and the screw. So here we see both of them go this way on the HSU and on the Garmin it's 90 degrees. You can see the hole is coming this way and the screw is going that way. Neither of them is ideal for all circumstances, but I find that a mix of same and opposite orientation fixings are good for mounting cameras on bikes, because you never know which particular orientation you need, and every extra link you put in increases the chance of vibration affecting your picture. In the next kit review, we're going to have a uh, look at one of uh, my helmets, an Arai Solid Non-Flip. And uh, I'll see you in that one, if not before, for any more rants or small kit reviews or near misses. In the meantime, a couple of things you might be interested in watching here. A subscribe and a playlist as well. I'll see you in the next film.